10 divisions, one team. Hi, my name is Johannes Schoenberg. I'm the Director of Engagement and the Northwest Tech Bridge Director out of Naval Undersea Warfare Center, Keyport. I'm Victor Small. I'm lead engineer for the Krill Project. And today we want to talk to you about the Krill, the unmanned underwater vehicle that was designed at Buick Keyport. This vehicle is uh, an important adaptation uh, as part of our test and evaluation process at Keyport. We realize is that in order to adapt quickly, to be able to test new products quickly from industry, you have to have a platform on which you can do that. You need to be able to uh, put a new product on board from industry, a new optical comm sensor, something else. You have to be able to throw it in the water and get feedback in a matter of hours or days or a week and not years with contract modifications. So it's very important to have our own in-house platform to be able to customize for missions and for testing and evaluation platforms. So we've designed this platform to do just that. So how we're going about doing that, the flexibility and rapid in-house innovation, is number one is organic capability. The government is developing and owning all of this. And we're going through additive manufacturing, a technology that is known for flexibility and speed. We're saving time, we're saving money. Now, this is Krill, the first version of Krill in development. One of the key features is that it is all modular. Components come apart. We can put in different payloads, different packages, and since it's additively manufactured, we can quickly add new docking components. We can add new um, spaces for our new widgets coming out rapidly and cheaply. Now, this thing, as I mentioned, is modular. Here's a full-scale component of this vehicle. In the background, you can see our full-size test vehicle. It's about table size, about two and a half feet long. This, is, this section is where the back bell housing clips onto the primary housing in this area. And you can see that it's 3D printed. It just pops together. So if something breaks, we can put it back together. Or a more significant capability is as we need new components, as we need to change our capability, we can develop something new. We can pop it on there. And again, we're talking the order of days, weeks, instead of years, as Johannes was discussing. So some of the uh, fantastic part about this is, as we talk about at the CNO's level, the unmanned campaign plan, it's important that we be able to do this testing and evaluation really, really quickly. We have to be able to swap components, and this is patented. We can give industry the standard, or to uh, other warfare centers or other uh, fleets that want to adapt to it, and they can plug and play a new payload in a matter of minutes with that kind of adaptation. So it's really important to supporting the unmanned campaign plan and that vision for speed, agility, uh, and delivery of solutions to the fleet. For more information on Krill or new at Keyport in general, please come see us at booth 1844 at the Sierra Space Expo.